This video is a full sphere. This allows you to pan around with your phone or you can use your mouse. December's night sky has many gifts for us. The early evening sky offers us views of the planets Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Something that makes observing the sky interesting is that the planet's position change from night to night. This is caused by the planet's motion around the sun. As our relative positions change, where they appear in the sky changes as well. All of the planets orbit the sun on a relatively flat disk called the ecliptic plane. The farther away from the sun, the longer it takes to orbit the sun. These planets move across the sky the slowest. Quite the opposite, the moon orbits the Earth every 28 days, so it will move across the sky much faster. Throughout December, Jupiter will crawl closer towards Saturn each night, and will eventually line up with it on December 21st, which happens to be the winter solstice. We call this a conjunction. A conjunction is basically when two objects line up with each other along the ecliptic plane many things conjunct with each other. The moon happens to be the most common because of its relatively rapid motion. Planetary conjunctions can be fairly predictable. Many happen over a regular period. Mars and Venus, for example, have a conjunction roughly every two years. Objects don't even necessarily have to be visible to be in a conjunction. We just tend to not worry about conjunctions involving Uranus and Neptune because we can't see them with the naked eye. This December's conjunction will be special. It is going to be a great conjunction, not only because it will be a really good one, this is what astronomers call a conjunction between Jupiter and Saturn. Great conjunctions happen every 20 years, give or take a few months. The last time we had one was on May 31st of 2000. The next one will be November 5th of 2040. While it will appear they are in the same spot, they are just incredibly close to each other. If Jupiter did cover Saturn, that would be something entirely different. Something called an occultation, or in some cases, a transit or eclipse. An occultation is where an object passes in front of another and blocks the view either partially or entirely. Jupiter occulting Saturn is incredibly rare. The next time this happens will be in the year 7541. This conjunction will still be quite special. Jupiter and Saturn will still be very close to each other. To the naked eye, they will appear as one object, unless you have telescopes or eyes. Through a telescope, they will be easily in the same view together, which is going to be a nice treat. The two planets will be one-tenth of a degree apart, which is roughly one-fifth the width of the full moon. They haven't been this close to each other during a conjunction in a very long time. The last time this happened was in 1623, 14 years after Galileo made his first telescope. This year, you have the opportunity to have two things in common with him, witnessing an event such as this and being trapped in your house for what feels like an eternity. You should go see this for yourself, because the chance to see a conjunction like this won't happen for another 40 years. Just be aware, when this happens, the planets will be fairly low in the horizon, so you will want to catch this in the early evening. They will set around 7.20 mountain time, so maybe go enjoy the sunset first, and then the conjunction as the sky darkens. Thank you for watching. Feel free to check out our other Dome from Home videos and come back soon for more.